Hello everyone, this is Viren and welcome to today's Rario walkthrough where I'm going to try to explain to you the tier contest system as well as the point system that Rario is going to come up with to help you gain more points and for you to win a lot of contests. Now keep in mind that there is one more pack drop coming up soon so you should participate in that one to get some amazing black and gold cards because those are going to hold you in really really good stead in the future and over the next few minutes as I explain this point system you will understand how and why these more premium cards are more helpful to you. Now before I get to the point system one important part is the tier of the contest so there are going to be three different tiers to start off this specific D3 game. First one will be that type of contest where you can play only with bronze cards. So if you have three bronze cards, that's enough for you to start the game. Obviously, the three cards must be from players who are playing in the specific match. So that is the first type of contest that will be present to you. And you don't need any other type of card or any other requirement to start this contest. Second type of contest is what we call as the expert contest now in the expert contest you need to have a minimum of one silver card that is one minimum requirement apart from that you can also put in bronze cards in this contest but yes this is where that whole tier system the category boost the xp boost will all come into play but for starters for example you only have bronze and silver cards from the specific game you're still in good stead to start the game so you can have a minimum of you need to have a minimum of one silver card to start this contest and you can also have one gold card that you can put in this contest but only a maximum of one gold card so that the competition stays even so at in the best case scenario you can have one gold and two silver cards playing in this contest you can also have one gold one silver one bronze so that is how the whole variety will work but the minimum requirement is that you must have one silver card then maybe on top of that you can put two bronze you can put one silver one gold one bronze so totally depends on the kind of combination you want to use that is the second type of contest third type of contest is what we know as the elite contest in this type of contest you're good enough to start but for that you need one black card yes that is the most premium card that we have on offer one black card one gold card and one silver card and there's no variation here if you have one black one gold and one silver you're good enough to start you don't need a pack of too many gold or too many black cards to start the game one black one gold one silver and you're good to go no variation here you need to have these three cards to begin the game so that is the tiers of contest that is going to be available to you on d3 by rario to play so that's the tiers. Now we look at the point system. Now the point system is going to be pretty similar to what is on offer from Dream 11 in terms of the base points. So when I look at my notes, the first and the most important part is that your player must perform in the real time game. And when that happens, you get a good amount of base points. Now, apart from base points, you get something called like an XP boost and a category boost. Now this might be slightly complicated for you to listen to in the first go. So maybe you can hear it one more time. Maybe you, once you start playing the game, you'll get a hang of it, but it's nothing too difficult. Simple things for you to understand. The base points that I spoke about first, those are going to be pretty much similar to your dream 11 point system. One run for one point for a run, then the boundary points, eight points for a catch, 25 points for a wicket. All of that is pretty similar. Not too much of difference there. The 2x boost for the captain and four points for the guy starting the game. So that in brief is the kind of point system that is going to be on offer to you. And it's not something that will be new to you because most of you have played on Dream 11. So it will not be too difficult to understand. Now, where does this get a little more interesting? Like I mentioned, there are different kind of tiers and there's that one specific contest where different people will come with different combinations of cards. And that's why to have a tiebreaker in that scenario, you need these XP boosts and category boosts. Now, what's an XP boost? An XP boost is when your player plays in a specific game, his XP gets boosted by 2%. Even if he doesn't play that game, but you own as in if you buy, he doesn't play, I mean that you do not use his card in the game, but you own him in your vault, you still get a 0.5% boost. So that's how that part of the XP boost works. Now, obviously, the higher the category of the card, the more its XP has the potential of boosting. So for example, you have a bronze card, at best, it can get a boost of 20%. 
while if you have like a silver card you have a gold or if you have a black card then it goes upwards it will be 30 percent for silver 45 percent for gold and up to 60 percent for black now what does this xp do for you obviously when we all start for example if i'm starting the game with three bronze cards simply put all of us will start with an XP of zero because that's what our pack come that's what the card comes out from as from the pack. Correct? So now there's no complication when you start, but as you keep using your cards within the game, it will keep increasing by two to two percent or by 0.5%. That is how it will work. Now, what if I'm done with 10 games with my bronze card and he's that specific player has played all 10 games and I've hit that cap of 20%? Now, once that card hits 20%, it will not be able to go to 22 or 24 because it's a bronze card. But your silver card can do that. It can go all the way to 30%. Your gold card can go all the way to 45 and your black card can go all the way to 60%. Now, how will this matter to you? It will matter to you at two points. One is when you go to sell this card in the marketplace, think about it practically. Wouldn't you want to buy a card of higher XP? Obviously, yes. So basically, even if you don't win the contest, your card's value is always appreciating. Second and more important point in terms of the gameplay is the higher the XP of your card, the more the boost of the total points of that specific player. Now I'll explain that part to you when I come to it, but there's an other part that is called category boost. Now in category boost, based on the category of your card, you get a boost. And it's pretty straightforward in this scenario that it's not like it's not any percentages and no uh, complication there but if you have a bronze card you get a category boost of 10 points if you have a silver card 20 if you have a gold card then 30 and if you have a black card then 50 okay so three points now we'll figure out how do we bring all of these points together in one flow first one is the base points which is the base points that is the real time performance of the player in the game second point is the category boost which is that 10 20 30 or 50 based on the tier of your card and third is the xp boost which is based on the number of times that you use the card within the game or that you own the card but even if you don't use it you still get that 0.5 but essentially the more you use it the more that xp increases and there's a cap now these three points put together will decide the player points for your player in that specific game. Now, how does it go? And you should hear this with care so that you don't make a mistake in understanding it. And I'll try my best to explain it to you in the simplest possible way. So for, ex so for example, I have a bronze card of Andre Russell versus I have a gold card of Andre Russell. So let's try to understand quite simply how the difference in the points for both would work and how one would give me an advantage over the other. So first thing is my base points. What is the whole equation of how the points are calculated? Base points plus bracket open base points into the XP of the card brackets close plus the category boost. So pretty straightforward. Only reason I asked you to hear carefully so that you don't get confused later. So let's assume Russell got 100 points in the game. So that's 100 plus you open the brackets 100 into now i'm assuming that we have just played one game abhi cpl start is just starting so let's assume it's just one game that you've used that card in so plus two percent because like i mentioned xp increases by two percent in every specific card uh, or other contest that you use the card in so 100 into two percent 100 into two percent is simply two and plus the category boost so like i mentioned i'm assuming it's a bronze card so my category boost will be only 10. so 100 plus two plus 10 and that is it nothing else for you to think about 100 plus 2 plus 10 that is the total amount of points that your card has caught in that specific game in this case that would be a total of 112 even though my maths is weak i'm getting that right now let's differentiate that with a gold card now in the first set of 10 games you won't figure out the difference in xp because everyone starting from zero until they total up to 20 it will be 10 games done already but once you cross the 10th game then you'll see that the gold cards are going to hit that higher upper cap the silver cards are going to hit the higher upper cap while bronze will stay at 20 percent but for the ease of calculation for the gold card also i'm assuming that the xp is only currently two percent in this case again it would be 100 plus 100 into two percent so 100 plus two that's 102 and then you add the category boost to the card so now you already have the advantage here because like we spoke about the fact that the boost for the gold card the category boost is 30 
so that is what is going to make the difference for you and that points will total up to 132 so simply put now obviously if you're playing like a all bronze contest this point these total points will not make a difference to you but when you're playing the mixed contest that's when the xp that's when the category boost will all come into play and make it count totally so yes that is the advantage of owning the higher pack and the higher contest uh, the higher tier ca cards but uh, this is what the point system essentially is and i'm sure as you start playing you'll understand it more simply and i'll also be able to explain it to you more simply so i hope you enjoyed this video stay subscribed keep liking hitting the share button and i hope i can keep helping with such content